All right, so we've got 5.43 times 2.1. Now, that seems like big, crazy numbers, but I'm, first of all, I'll just underestimate this at 5, and I'll just underestimate this at 2. What's 5 times 2? Uh, 10. So our answer is uh, going to be a little bit bigger than 10 because I underestimated both of those, but it's going to be around 10-ish in the ballpark. Let's go ahead and get just an exact answer by doing our traditional multiplication algorithm. 5.43 times 2.1. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 5 is 5. 0 for the tens column. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. Get these all together. 3, a 10, carry the 1, a 13, a 14, carry the 1, a 1, and a 1. So our final answer has a 1, 1, 4, 0, 3 in it. But we know our answer is just a little bit bigger than 10. So 11, 11.403. And if you just want to double check it to be absolutely sure, we move that decimal one, two, three total places. One, two, three total places. But the estimate, the estimate's the secret. That's how to get your decimals right every single time. All right, on to the next.